Welcome back to TMX Brick Notes. I am Martin, and today we're going to do a BrickLink tutorial. I want to show you how to find a part on BrickLink and go through the checkout process. Here we go! I'm looking at the same screen that you're looking at. So we've got the home page for BrickLink. Right now I am logged in. Um, you don't have to actually be logged in to find an item, but you do obviously have to be logged in to go through the checkout process. So I'm going to go ahead and have that started already. So we want to do buy Lego. We can either click right here or we can go up to the top tab. You know what? In fact, I'm going to zoom it in to make it easier to see. I'm going to use this tab up here, the buy. And now we have options. Let's focus on the options right here in the middle, items for sale. We have sets. There are 604,373 sets for sale right now on BrickLink. Parts, minifigs, books, gear, catalogs, instructions, original boxes, and custom items. Almost a million. So pretty awesome. Let's say, let's pretend that we're going to build a castle and we want to get a bunch of bricks to do that. In fact, we're going to be specific. We're going to get some 1x4 bricks. So we need to look in parts. So we'll click on parts. Now in parts, we have a bunch of different categories. Three long columns of parts. And if you go down further in a separate group of categories, you can search by color. Um, we want to focus on the bricks that I spoke about. So you can see all these different categories. Right here is brick. There are currently 17 million plus bricks for sale. All right, now on this page, we're in items for sale, we're in parts, we're in brick. We have 74 catalog entries found. That means 74 different types of bricks available. We want to look for the one by four light bluish gray. So let's scroll down. And there we go. Top of the screen. Brick one by four. If we hide, if we just put the mouse over the top of the picture, it's gonna say the part number 3010. You can click on the picture, it's gonna show a larger picture. Okay, for these one by four bricks, these are all the different colors that you can purchase this brick in. Pretty awesome. The different types of gray, because remember, we're talking about doing a castle. There's very, I'm sorry, there's light bluish gray, light gray, dark gray, and dark bluish gray. Remember, these bluish gray colors are the new LEGO colors, which means current sets being released by LEGO are being released in these two colors. The light gray and the dark gray are discontinued colors, which means LEGO is not releasing any sets with those specific colors. So people are still selling those. You're going to find almost exclusively used parts when you look by those colors. Let's look under light bluish gray. Now, without doing any filters, we have 961 lots for these light bluish gray 1x4s. So when you're looking at this, first of all, you've got the image. You've got the condition. Uh, this is used. Uh, I should say we are sorting right now by lowest price. So the lowest price is going to be at the top of the list. This has got the color and the type. We're looking at brick and the uh, specific size or name of it. This right here is what the seller has noted about this specific piece, surface scratches. You notice not every seller has put in a note for their each individual piece. All right, this is the location of the seller, and for their store, some stores will have a minimum buy. This is important. You want to be checking that. All over here, this is the store that is selling this item. So this specific store, My Palace of Bricks, is selling this, and this number right here is their lifetime feedback. So that's a net number. That includes all of their positive feedback minus their negative feedback come to that net number. This little uh, one by one brick, this is a green brick here. Notice it did a different color than here and this one doesn't have one. Let's go ahead and click on that. I'll show you what it is. Anyone with a yellow brick means their feedback rating is between 10 to 49. 
a blue brick is 50 to 99, and so on. So we'll just we're gonna hit the back button. Let's show you what that is. ME, that is an about page. So for this seller, they I'm not gonna click on it, but they wrote an about page just to describe what they're doing or themselves, whatever. QTY, that is quantity. So that means this seller has three of this brick. This is the price. Now, there's two different prices. This lower one is the exact price. A lot of times people will price things um, just like you see gasoline. Uh, instead of three cents, they may price it at 2.9 cents or 2.99 cents. So you wanna keep your eyes on that. Bricklink will round. All right, if you wanna purchase from this seller, all you do is click go buy it. We're not gonna do that because they don't have enough. We wanna get more. So, in fact, let's say we want to get 100 of these pieces. Up here is the filter options. Now, if you don't see these options, you need to click show more filter options. Minimum quantity. Let's say we want 100 and click go. It's still sorting by lowest price, so the top of the list is going to be the lowest price available, but we've narrowed it down to 165 lots now. And the top of the list here, we have 1500 for sale, so that meets our standard. We're selling them at seven cents. Here's an example of someone from another country. They're in Italy, and this specific price that I was talking about. In fact, this is an example of someone that is their pricing in a different currency. So Bricklink has automatically changed it from the Euro to US dollar. Let's pretend that we only want to buy 100 of these bricks. So can we buy from this first seller? No, we cannot because of this right here. This, is, this X means you have to buy in increments of 1,560 at a time. It's pretty rare. But what they're telling you is, you know what, I'm not gonna sell one, you have to buy the entire lot if you wanna buy anything at all. Well, okay, we wanna buy 100, so we can't buy from them. Let's buy from the second person on the list, they have the second best price. Can't do that either, why? Do your math, each of them for eight cents, you wanna buy 100, that is eight cents times 100 equaling eight dollars. Well, their minimum buy is 13.54. So we'd have to add a bunch of other things to our order in order to even make a purchase in that store. Same thing for this one down here, it's $47.39. You know what, in fact, let's say that we live in the United States and we don't wanna buy from a foreign country. We just want cheaper shipping. So let's do our filters again, click on USA and click go to update our filters. That's gonna get rid of Italy and all the other countries beyond the United States. Okay, so we're gonna to go to a specific store. I'm gonna take you down to my store for this option. I'm on the bottom of this page, Mr. Bear's Bricks. Let's go buy it. So now what we've done is I've taken you from window shopping, looking at all of the stores that have that item for sale, and you're actually in the store. So you're in my store right now, and on this left column over here, you're looking at all the parts that only this store has for sale. Right now, when you click to go buy it, you have put those items into your cart. The only thing that's different about that though, and one thing to keep in mind, that does not mean it's reserved for you. Until you actually check out and make that purchase, those items are still on the open market for anyone to buy. Okay, so in the upper left here, we say our cart, we can see that our cart has 10 items in one lot, that means only one specific type, and we have it at $1.10 because we only did 10 items. Well, we don't want that. We want 100. So do we type 90 or do we type 100? Let's do 100. And we're going to add selected items to the shopping cart. What does it do? That is right. So now 100 items in one lot, that's $10.90 total. But it's priced at 11 cents each. How does it 10.90? Well, for this item, if you buy 50 or more, it actually gives you a discount. It lowers the price to 10.9 cents per item. So that is a, a good thing when you, see, when you see these tiered pricing techniques. Okay, so we have our item picked out. We're ready to go.
Let's go backwards just one second. What do we need to do before we check out and finish our purchase? Well, I need to zoom out here so this shows up right. But you need to look at these tabs at the top of the screen. The two most important ones are splash and store terms. A lot of stores, these tabs are going to be exactly the same, but you do need to check them before you make a purchase. Splash page is going to tell you about the store. It'll tell you things like, is it a home where smoking or pets are allowed? Um, it's also going to tell you um, if there's going to be any extra charges for shipping and handling and so forth. Very important to read through all of this information. For my store, I've got your U.S. shipping and handling rates that I'm charging. I go by weight and shopping cart. So how do we see that? Well, let's go view our cart. It's got it set up here. 5.78 ounces is how much BrickLink says this is going to be weighing. So when we go back to that splash page, it falls into this group right here, which means this store, my store, is going to charge you $3.30 to purchase this item. So a lot of stores are going to say they charge exact shipping, but you do also want to check. Maybe they're adding on a dollar, a dollar fifty, whatever it may be for handling charges or packaging fees. There are also some stores that put lot limits on you. Just read through all of the description on their splash page or their store terms to make sure that you understand what those mean. Let's click on store terms. That's a little different. It shows where the seller ships to. It shows exact terms like what payment methods you can use. Um, the shipping policy. For my store, I ship through the U.S. Post Office. Payment accepted in currencies. I accept U.S. dollar. Payment methods accepted for buyers within the U.S. So if you're a buyer from the United States, you can use these different payment methods. And for buyers outside the U.S., you, can, you have to use this. Let's pretend we did only want to buy 10 of these bricks. We, we can see now 10 items in one lot, $1.10. Let's try and check out. Let's see what happens. It's not going to let you do it. So the reason is we did not meet that $5 store limit. So let's go back to the cart. Let's say we want 100. We're going to update shopping cart. We're back to that $10.90. And we're going to click checkout. Now, if you're not logged in, this is the time that you would have to be logged in. I'm already logged in, so I'm going to proceed to checkout. Here we go. We've got the address, which I have blocked out for this video only. You have the choice of payment. So you get to click here, cashier's check, Google Wallet, money order. This is today what I accept. This may not be the case in the future. PayPal, and it says, wait until you have received your invoice before sending any money. That's going to go for each and every store on BrickLink. You do not pay at your checkout. You pay once you've received an invoice. And then accepted currencies, US dollar is the only thing accepted here. I would like my order to be shipped by FedEx or US Postal Service. Some stores have a lot of different options available. Some stores you can even pick it up directly at their house or whatever it may be. And we can include insurance with my order if you want to. Comments. Now, why would you put comments? If there's a store that says they charge exact shipping, you may just want to make sure and type in, hey, I want the cheapest shipping possible. Or you might say, hey, I need this like in three days. Can you send this as fast as possible? So sometimes I'll just write, hey, you've got a great store. It was fun shopping at your store. And then down here, we're going to have all those terms just repeated. And then we're going to finish by clicking complete purchase. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm not going to buy stuff from myself because it would not make any sense. But remember, when you click complete purchase, that's it. Your purchase is done. You owe that money. They're going to send you, the, the seller is going to send you an invoice and you're going to have to pay that money. Do not do this unless you plan on paying and you plan on getting those items. Okay? So very important. Let's say we don't want to purchase from the store. Let's go ahead and just click empty cart. Um, actually, if we don't, let's say we get lost. Let's um, In the upper left here, We've got home, all stores, and then the store that you're in. This, this says my store, but this is the store that I'm shopping in right now. If I click home, 
It's going to take me back here. If I click on my brick link, it's a custom page that's for me. It says I have one store with items in my cart. So let's say I got disconnected from the internet. I'm like, oh man, I just spent an hour looking through all the different parts that I want and I had my shopping cart ready to go and I got disconnected. Well, if you go to my brick link, it's got it saved for you. You click on store with items in my cart. It shows you which stores, if you have multiple stores, or it shows you that specific one. If you click on it, you're right back there. It saved the day. So don't worry about losing that. But again, just because it's in your shopping cart doesn't mean that you're guaranteed to have it. When you click checkout, it will tell you if something was purchased by another buyer. It will just automatically deduct it and lower that uh, dollar total. Okay, I'm going to click empty cart. And then I need to confirm that. Click empty shopping cart. We're all finished. Well, hopefully today's tour of how you make a purchase for parts on BrickLink helped you out. If you have any questions or anything specific on navigating BrickLink, please let me know. I'd be happy to make another video. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Thank you again for everyone for subscribing. And I'll catch up with you guys next time.